It's the return of an event that celebrates cultural and artistic diversity in the community. After a two year hiatus, the annual Cherry Blossom Festival is back. And Spade with our My 58th Street team is live in Davis with more on what families can expect this year. And we already hear the drums. And good morning. Good morning. The drums are so cool. Um, so this is the Cherry Blossom Festival here in Davis. It's from 8, uh, 11 to 8.30 p.m. So it's all day. I'm holding one of the lanterns. The kids can come out and make these. So I'm going to set this over here. But I want to talk to you. This is Katie and Ashley. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. So tell, you are Ashley, yes? yes OK, so Ashley is one of the directors here. Yes. And so talk to us a little bit about uh, the festival. Are there any COVID restrictions, that kind of thing? Yeah, so the Davis Cherry Blossom Festival is a free community festival here in Davis. Yes, uh, we are not. Uh, we are just asking unvaccinated individuals to wear masks. But it is going to be an all day long event today and tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 8.30. We've got a bunch of hiker groups coming in from UCLA, Berkeley, Stanford. And we also have a ton of bands coming to play. Awesome. There's also activities for the whole family, like lantern painting, yes. uh, which is completely free. And also shibori dyeing. We have mochi pounding, which is going to be a lot of fun because you'll get to eat that as well. So just, just so much going on yeah. that the family, it's a family free event. Yes, so that's completely free. Family. That's I appreciate that. <laughs> and then so Katie. <laughs> so uh, let's talk about the uh, the importance of diversity here within the community. Let, let's talk about that. Yeah. So building community uh, is something really important to this festival. We just want a place where people from all walks of life and also just people from different backgrounds to just come and like have fun, you know, and just enjoy being together. Um, we're going to have some really cool folks here. So we're going to have Dr. Deborah Wong, who's an ethnomusicologist, having a talk here. Uh, we're also just inviting folks from different backgrounds, uh, such as people with black and indigenous uh, backgrounds as well, some artists. Uh, but our primary focus of the festival is Asian American culture. So that's going to be our primary focus. Um, but we do want to invite like artists from different backgrounds and just so we have a platform for everyone to come and also just kind of like share their experiences in a place for you know people to get to know other cultures. Right on. Yeah. Well, I, I'm going to move out of the way a little bit because as we bring this out <laughs> I want you guys to see and hear what what to expect with the taiko drumming so I'm gonna let you go ahead and take that away we got the full screen up for you so that you get some information on what to expect here today I'm Ann Spade with Team My58 for KCRA 3 News back to you Leticia they are so talented what a great festival for the community and we do love that it's free